The state's Public Utilities Commission will meet tomorrow to decide whether to expedite a $50 California climate credit, which was set to be paid between April and October. That climate credit will help those who had to fork out hundreds of dollars more than usual last month to keep the stove and heaters working. SoCal Gas is also promising a dramatic reduction in your bill this month. Fox 11's Christy Fajardo is in the Crenshaw District to explain. Welcome news, though, Christy, for some people. It is welcome news, although the people we talked to say it is not enough. In fact, everyone that was walking through the doors here at the gas company uh, was telling us that they were outraged and very upset. Some said that they saw their bills go from about $125 last January to $450, some cases $500. And many tell us that is just too much. They say they don't have an option. They have to keep the thermostat thermostat on. They also have to use the stove and they want to see more relief. And as you said, SoCal Gas has said that next month their bill will be lower. In my opinion, everything is greed. At the Crenshaw branch of SoCal Gas, word of lower bills next month is met with skepticism. They never come down to where they were. Joe Drain saw her bill soar to $482 last month when in previous winters, it might have been 125 or 30. Same is true for Luanda, who says turning down her thermostat is not an option. I'm in a situation where I have to have it on because I take care of my mother. She's disabled, so I don't have the choice. So I have to pay it. But relief is on the way, said SoCal Gas in a news release, stating natural gas prices would drop 68% in February compared to January, and blamed recent price increases on a cold snap in the western U.S. that drove up demand and costs. There just wasn't enough supply for this cold weather. Sean Hyde is a professor at USC's Marshall School of Business. He says SoCal Gas didn't have enough storage capacity to keep up with demand and was forced to buy natural gas on what's called the spot market at an increased price and adds a pipeline problem added to the large bills. There is money to be made, but it's not by SoCal Gas. So this is by the gas producers themselves, so those that are pumping it out of the ground. That's not how it works in the regulated industry. SoCal Gas isn't supposed to expose its consumers to the spot market. Loretta Lynch is a former president of the California Public Utilities Commission. She says SoCal Gas's explanation doesn't add up, since companies in other states face similar market forces, but didn't see triple or quadrupled bills. Frankly, both the PUC and the Attorney General should get to the bottom of this. And the people we spoke with here also tell us they'd like to see an investigation. We did reach out to SoCal Gas and they sent us various links showing that uh, that prices were also up in other markets in California and also blaming market forces. Live in the Crenshaw District, I'm Christy Fajardo. Let's send it back to you.